W CBS News Radio 880 is signing off for good. Two weeks from today, the all news format will be retired as the station is reprogrammed and renamed. Tony Aiello has more now on the end of a remarkable broadcasting era. It was born in 1967, an era before headlines on your smartphone. Good morning. This is Steve Porter welcoming you to WCBS News Radio 88. And over the course of more than 50 years... Nine minutes before 3 WCBS News time, Long Island Lighting Company today appealed to the public to curtail electric use. The talented team at WCBS News Radio has narrated history and chronicled change in our great city. I think the legacy of WCBS will be nearly six decades of just trying to tell stories that people need to hear. Veteran WCBS anchor Steve Scott says it's a painful day, and station owner Odyssey calls it a painful decision. Turbulence in the broadcast industry is sinking WCBS 880. The all-news format will end on August 26th, replaced by sports programming. The one-time radio home of Charles Osgood, Ed Bradley, Charles Kuralt, Rich Lamb, Wayne Cabot, and Deborah Rodriguez will even lose the call letters WCBS. State Senator James Scoofus grew up in a Queens family that often had News Radio 88 on the dial. It's a mainstay for a lot of my constituents and certainly millions of people in the New York City area. It's quite frankly shocking, uh, the news that they're closing up shop. There's going to be a hole in the landscape, but we really appreciate that people have used us for the last 57 years. The station that helped New Yorkers navigate an ever-changing world, now a casualty of a changing media landscape. Tony Aiello, CBS News, New York.